G'day guys, Scotty Lyons here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. As you can see, I'm in the workshop again for the final step, stage three, in the construction of the surface lure. Now to kick off this segment, step three, or the final step in making our surface lures, we've got to fill some holes. So we need some uh, two-part putty. So I've got the main ingredient there and this is the hardener going in. So just a little bit of hardener. I'm going to mix that up. This is a resin based filler. So it dries really nice and hard and you can sand it, which is really good. Ideal for doing this, this job. Just make sure you mix it through properly and then you won't have any problems. Okay, so we get a little bit on the end of the trowel like so and just, just put a little bit in there, one on that one. Don't worry if they're a little bit too high, it sands very easy. So overfilling is not a problem. Okay, you can see the hardener, or the filler, it's gone nice and hard, so it's time to sand. I've already taken the heavy paper to this and just knocked the, the, uh, the high spots off. Now I'm down to a 120. And it's just a matter of giving it a good sand and getting that putty down nice and smooth. So when we paint this, you won't see the, the holes where we drilled for our weights. Okay, as you can see, I've sanded down the, uh, the putty nicely. Now it's time to give it a coat of undercoat. So I'm just using a Sula primer, oil based, and just a matter of painting some on, like so. Okay, this is the exciting part in making our surface lure, the actual painting job. So I've given this a nice, just a light sand with 120 grit, just to knock off any little hairs that the, uh, the undercoat stands up when you paint with the undercoat. So now I've got a nice smooth finish ready for my final coating. Things you'll need is a pair of pliers. I've got some interesting fabric there, just a, a mesh, which will give me like a nice scale pattern on the lure. Some sinkers over here just to weigh the, the mesh down. And I've selected three colours. I've got silver, black, and a nice blue, which, uh, you know, for the salt water application with a surface lure, there, those three colours work really well. Okay, I'm going to start with the blue. And I've put this board down to uh, obviously to protect my bench here so I don't um, I get too much overspray on it. So, what I'm going to do is just going to give it a nice coat along the side, like so. Turn him over and do the same on the other side. And then along the top. Now don't go too heavy, uh, otherwise you'll end up with runs. So if you don't get it in the first coat, just leave it a second and then give it a, another coat. Okay, so the blue paint's dried and what I've actually done is I've stretched the fabric over the lure, so it's nice and tight, and I've weighed it down with the, the sinkers. So I'm going to take the silver and just give it a coat along the side. Just like that. And then another one. And then leave it. Now if I move it too quick, um, all the paint's wet and you won't get your nice scale pattern you're looking for. So we'll just leave it for a second and let it touch dry. And then I'll flip him over and I'll do the other side. Okay, I've given that a good 10 minutes or more to dry. Now I'm just going to carefully remove the leads. Without dragging the fabric. Like so, and then in one motion, just come up and over. And there we go. Alright, so there's our second side 
and as you can see we've got a, a beautiful scale pattern all the way down the side of the lure. Okay, we've done our scale pattern, we've let it dry. The next step is to give it a silver belly. Now most fish are light on the bottom and darker on top. So I'm going to use the silver again and just give him a nice hold the lure like so. So it's directly up and just go down the, the center. Okay, now what that allows is the silver to coat the bottom but it still give, leaves you your nice scale pattern up each side. So I've still got my lovely scale pattern there as you can see. It's got a nice silver belly to it and my scale pattern on the other side. So now I'm going to let this really dry properly before I finish it off. Okay, final coat is the blue um, across its back. So do the same as you did with the silver on the belly but this time we'll just hold the, the little vertical this way and we do a nice blue coat straight over the top. Like so. There we go. So we've got the blue on the top. We've got our little scale pattern down the side, round of the silver. Okay, the final little touch I'm going to do, I've added my blue to the top, my silver, I've got my scale pattern. I'm just going to use a bit of black now and just dust the, the, the head area of the lure. Just like so. There we go. Alright, so we've got our lovely scale pattern, our blue and a nice black head, which will make the eyes stand out really well when I put them on. Okay, our lure is nice and dry, time to add the eyes. So I'm just going to use some white paint and I've worked out the diameter I want. Just going to dip this in the white paint. Just get a bit on the end and work out roughly where my eye goes. Put a double white paint. Okay, I'll do the same to the other side. Not too much paint, just turn him over and roughly about there, do the same, so I've got two white marks. Now I'm going to let that dry and I'll put a black, a black dot in the middle to make the pupil. Okay, our two little white spots have uh, dried. I've got a little bit of black paint here, which I'm just going to, uh, again with my screw, and I'll just get a little dollop on the end, and I'm just going to see if I can put a pupil in the middle. There we go, there's one, just in the centre, and I'll just turn him over, and I'll just, I'll do a second one, like so, okay, and there we have it, all of a sudden, our little lure comes to life. Well there you go guys. Our surface lure is finished. I've turned a simple dowel into a lovely looking lure that hopefully I can get out there and catch some big fish on. Like I said, I'm going to New Zealand in a few weeks. I'm going to give it a run. Now remember to tune in next week on The Hook and the Cook for another fantastic clip. And remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.